Hi everyone, this is Danny for Dude Tech and welcome back with a brand new video. In this video, I have another 5 new tweaks to share with you guys, which is going to be compatible with the 9.3.5 Jailbreak Phoenix. With that being said, let's get started. Alright, so the first CD tweak that I have for you guys in today's video, which is going to be the SSH icon. And this is going to be work from the iOS 7 till the iOS 10 jailbroken device. What is that tweak is going to be providing you with? It's going to be toggle uh, and small icon of SSH icon on your status bar. And it's going to be providing you with a lot of things, options, as you guys can see right now on a screenshot from the uh, tweak is going to be providing you with all the set, the connection that you have, the Wi-Fi, all the information that you have from your provider or from your network system. So this is how it's going to be looks like and this is what the tweak is going to be providing you with. Let me jump right now into the settings to show you guys what's going on there. Okay, so under the settings, as you guys can see, the first thing that you need to do to enable the tweak, and it is going to be giving you a two different option. If you want to set the icon on the right side or in your left side. Also, it's going to be providing you with four to five options of the set of the icon, as you guys can see here. So you can pick your favorite uh, icon if you want to set it on your status bar. Also, there is another option, which is going to be start from two up to 30 seconds for that pop-up message to read all the network information that you have from your device so this is what is pretty much the tweak is going to be providing you with it's cool and nice stuff to know everything about your connection from your device so as I say, this nice and cool tweak as far as it's going to be providing you with all that information make sure to give it a try SSH icon the next CD tweak that I have for you guys in today's video, which is going to be the smart low power. And what is that tweak is going to be providing you with? I think the, the name just explained himself. So what is that tweak is going to be providing you with? It's going to be set a lot of things for you in your iDevice once you set up the tweak on your device. So it's going to be save a lot of things on your battery. And let me jump right now into the settings to show you guys most of the things. All right, so under the settings, the first thing that you need to do to enable the tweak and then is here is going to be providing you with low power mode here. If you just stop on it, it's going to be providing you with more than option, which is going to be the device locked here. So when you lock your device, you can toggle that. You can just untoggle that. And then also we have the battery level so you can just toggle that and only when locked so you can toggle that and then it's going to be providing you a lot of time here you can save that here the charging you can toggle that the other option which is going to be the airplay mode here if you want to top on it is going to be providing you with more than options so you can set it the way you like to uh, save your battery and then as you guys can see here also we have the extras which is going to be the auto lock here so once you're done from everything uh, you get to go and then this is how it's going to be save your battery life once you download the smart low power make sure to give it a try because it's cool tweak to download it on your iDevice smart low power okay so the next week that i have for you guys in today's video which is going to be the color status bar and what is that week is going to be providing you with as you guys can see once i go to my home screen i already customized the color the background of my status bar as well when using that tweak right there if i want to go right now into the settings to show you guys what's going on there so the first thing is uh, to enable the tweak and then here also is going to be providing you with more than theme so you can use the theme or set the theme that you like and the other thing you can just uh, use or customize the color for your status bar so here is going to be providing you with most the colors here simply if you just tap on a color choose your favorite color to set it on your iDevice and you're good to go after that the other thing which is going to be the battery indicator here if you want to change the battery so you can enable that uh, change the battery color using the toggle here press on it and then you're good to go you can set the color and have to respring your device so your device will be take the effect after you finish from all the options there as you guys can see right now i already customized my status bar which is going to be really looks nice and beautiful if you want to set it on your iDevice i highly recommend you guys to give it a try because really nice if you want to set it in your device color status bar 
Okay, so the next CD3 that I have for you guys in today's video, which is gonna be the status hood too. And what is that tweak is gonna be providing you with? Let me just go back to my home screen. And then as you guys can see right now, this is the hood here. If you take a look on the center of my status bar, this is how it's gonna be beautiful if you want to set that tweak on your iDevice. If you want to jump right now into the settings, so the first thing that you need to do to enable the tweak, and then it's gonna be providing you with a style. So it's simply if you wanna go to the style, there is two options you can pick the style that you want to set it in your i device and then also here is going to be providing you with the size so you have the normal and then you have the large so you can pick the one that you want and then here the uh, dismiss uh, delay so uh, if you want to uh, uh, very slow slow normal and fast you can pick the one that you like and then you get to go and this is the way if you want to set that tweak on your status bar just like so it's really nice and a beautiful tweak if you want to set it in your eye device highly recommend you guys to give it a try because it's really beautiful status hood too okay so next what i have for you guys which is going to be the ios 11 theme that is a lot of people they like the ios 11 new theme and they just want to update their devices to ios 11 that's because the theme that's because the control center and more than that so today what i have for you guys it's you able right now to use your ninth 3.5 even your ios 10 device and then you can just download the ios 11 theme in your i device so after you download the theme on your device you will be find the theme on your anemone application once you launch your anemone application you will be find the theme that you already download just enable that and then this is gonna be how it's gonna be it looks like after you just uh, hit the preview and then it's going to be giving you the iOS 11 theme or the interface on your iDevice. And this is how it's going to be it looks like in your iDevice. As I told you guys, that is a lot of people, they just want to download the iOS 11 theme in their devices, but they can't. That's because they're already jailbroken and they don't want to lose their jailbreak. So that's the tweak is going to be for you if you want to download the ios 11 theme there you go it's available right now have a fun and enjoy with the theme i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you like the video please give it a big thumbs up subscribe for my channel for more videos and i see you guys in next video peace